Um, I think the fact that we are returning to the moon, but this time with a mission that is to, um, you know, we're building off of the footsteps, we're laying a foundation, we're going to a celestial body, we're going to set our feet, we're not going to be um, translating all the time with just our hands, but we're going to use our feet too. And we're doing it, uh, not it's not a space race, it's a, it's a global partnership. And having lived on board the space station and been part of an international crew, I can tell you firsthand that that is the way we need to do it. What's next for me? Um, aside from going back and supporting uh, the missions that are going on right now on the International Space Station, um, I, am, uh, I am training continually and I am supporting um, our commercial crew um, crews that are going to be launching soon on the Boeing mission. So that's right now what I'm doing. Okay, so Mars 2020 is paving the way for humans and so do every mission that go to Mars. Every time we go to Mars we learn more about the planet, its environment, but 2020 is also kind of special. It has a weather station, which, well, which we've had on other rovers as well, uh, but it's learning about patterns on Mars and it has a really cool instrument that's actually creating oxygen. So it's taking part of the Mars atmosphere and creating oxygen out of it on a really small scale, but if we can demonstrate that we can make oxygen on Mars using elements from Mars, that means that we could scale that up and eventually sustain life of other astronauts on Mars. If I could personally travel to anywhere and go that fast, I would probably get to Saturn. Um, the Saturn environment is just so cool. Uh, Enceladus is my favorite moon. It has these giant geysers that are spewing water into, this, like, into space. And the concept of flying through them or seeing them is just kind of incredible for me. I'm a, I'm a huge nature junkie, right? And so I love these weird features. And so Enceladus is, has got to be it for me. And so does Titan, right? With, with its crazy atmosphere. You know, getting to go to JPL, they were working on a rover that's working to, that they're going to be sending next year to Mars that's going to collect samples and then send those samples back. And if that is successful, that paves the way for humans to come back. I mean, it's a really exciting prospect, isn't it? I mean, what can we, what, what's there for us to, to learn? I mean, by that exploration, we, we learn more about our universe, we learn more about ourselves, and, and I mean, it's so mysterious, it's wide open out there, you know, it's very exciting, it's an exciting endeavor, and it's nice to see all these efforts now uh, propelling it forward again. I've had so much fun getting to hang out with you guys a little bit. Thank you so much. Got to do JPL, got to talk to the space station. Max, Max, take a minute. Oh, <laughs>